Yankees magazine first saw Torres in action in the Arizona Fall League last October and November. He seems to have all the tools he needs to be a rising young star. In fact, he was so impressive in the Arizona Fall League, he won the MVP award. Here's how he did it. Crushes one, deep left field, Stewart back, looks up, it's gone. A three run home run for Glaber Torres and Scottsdale leads three to one. Glaber Torres, he indeed swings a hefty bat. I mean, not surprising at all, even the out that he had in the first inning, according to Stockcast, was 99 and a half miles per hour off of his bat. He just generates velocity. At the young age of 19, all around him were impressed with his ability and how he carries himself. He's extremely talented. I've had a chance to see that up close. Really, really impressed so far with, with how well uh, as a player he is, but how, how well mentally he handles baseball. Just the maturity level as a 19-year-old, I mean, he, he carries himself like he's been around for a while and he's got tremendous talent. He's got a lot of power, he's got a good arm, he's got good hands. I mean, good pickup for us, so it's gonna be great. The guy's 19 or 20 and absolutely, to me, looks like he's capable of becoming a big league shortstop today. I was able to go and, 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 and watch him play as soon as we got him. And I was impressed with the way he carried himself on and off the field. I consider myself a contact hitter. You know, I uh, try to uh, make contact. My approach is uh, to drive the ball to the middle of the field with occasional power. Uh, but uh, most of the time, I'm just uh, trying to put the, uh, put the ball in play. His stats speak for themselves as he became the youngest player to win the Arizona Fall League MVP award in its 25-year history. He led the league in average, and the Yankees organization expects big things from Torres in the future. He's got a chance to do a lot of special things. He's got the bat, he's got the makeup, he's smart. Uh, he's got, you know, all these type of uh, tools, but you, we, we just got to wait and see, what, 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 you know, what, where it fits best. But our job is to prepare him and, and, and make sure he's ready to go when, when the big clubs need him. I don't try to put too much pressure on, on, on myself and, and I don't pay too much, too much attention. Uh, obviously, I'm preparing myself every day and uh, the results will, will, will come, but the biggest thing is have fun and uh, preparing myself on a daily basis. A shortstop by trade, Torres made the transition this season to play a little second as well and adjusted nicely. Right now I'm learning how to play second base specifically and I've uh, been getting a lot, of, a, lot, a, a lot of work at second base, a lot of fundamentals and um, I feel good. You know, the biggest thing is uh, feeling good and, and, and go out there and perform. You, know, you always want to play with guys that can play defense behind you and definitely it's a big asset on, on that end. And he's making that transition very smoothly. You know, um, he's been tested on every angle, he's turned the way he turns double play and like I said, he, he knows how to slow the game down. He's got great, great hands, he's got very good instincts on the field, he knows how to position himself and then, you know, uh, uh, I think he'll be a guy that, you know, he's going to be able to play multiple positions in the infield with the bat.